Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today I thought I would film for you sort of a late afternoon dinner time vlog, if you want to call it. You all seem to really enjoy spending the morning with me, so spend the afternoon and evening with me. I really enjoy doing that. So today's Monday. And it was actually Alex's sports day at school, so Paul is off today and tomorrow because he worked over the weekend. And so we spent the morning basically watching him take part in all the sports day activities, which was fun. And then afterwards, Paul and I went to the local garden centre because we wanted to pick up a big pot plant. And we ended up picking up a load of other bits because they had a massive sale on. So I'm going to show you, first of all, what I got, okay? So they had all their bamboo stuff on offer. And if you guys remember, I picked up some bamboo plates from Aldi ages ago. And they are like the um, watermelon. So when I saw these, I thought these were quite cute. They are usually $1.99. And as you can see, I paid 99p. So I got two just to replace the really nasty plastic ones that Alex has. Then I also saw these. These are tea light holders. But check it out. 74p. They only had two. I actually really like the idea of using them as glasses. Um, but like I said, they only had two. Otherwise, I would have got maybe four or six and just use them as little tumblers. I thought they were so, so sweet. I love this worked glass effect and it's got the, is it ombre effect? So yeah, those. Uh, what else? They also had lots of candles on offer and I actually picked up tea light candles. This is My Serenity Scent, like that. As you can see, it's usually 6 .99 and I paid 225 which is not bad and they smell so nice so very lightly fragrance it's not like a pungent I really am not a fan of pungenty smells or like cookie dough or things like that I find that too much and it gives me a headache so yeah and there's so there's 225 for two 225 for how many the 12 tea lights I actually thought I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna put this in my present box and then I can give a little present to someone with a tea light inside or if I might keep them for myself I haven't decided yet so in this oh no let me show you what else I also picked up these two placemats one is bigger than the others you can see the big one was $2.99 from, from $5.99 and then the smaller one was $1.99 from $3.99 and I'm not gonna actually use them as placemats I thought they would look quite nice on a table I could play around with these more as um, a runner effect but I also really have always wanted to make a wall display using baskets and placemats and things like that so I has dual purpose so that was what I got from the garden center itself and then they have little shops within in within it and one of them is mountain warehouse now here's what I got from mountain warehouse I got a hat let me show you I am not suited to hats by the way but I have been desperately looking for a hat, for a summer hat, to keep the sun off my face, that's not bad. That is not bad. And the I always struggle because I've got a big head. Um, so, check it. Now, this was originally, I've taken the thing off us already, but it was originally $15.99. It was marked down to $11.99. And then she's, the lady there said to me, if you buy something that is not on offer, makes the hat half price. So if you spend two quid on a pair of socks, it still makes the hat half price. So Paul had a look and he really needed a combination lock for his bike. So that was 4 99 I think. So in the end, I paid 9 99 
for the two things so that was a proper bargain and I'm so pleased it fits my head and it's actually cute and then the last thing oh no it's not I also they have WH Smith so I picked up these for Alex they are double-sided pencils you guys can see <laughs> I think he's really gonna like that and then the reason why we actually went was to get a pot for a plant that we have that needs a bigger pot pots are so expensive we actually got this it's by the brand Ilio or whatever yes and it's plastic it's made of material of recycled materials okay and it's meant to not fade or something like that anyway that was 15.99 a lot that is a lot but we did need it so that was it so that was it for our little shopping time now uh, Paul's about Paul it's time to go and get Alex okay. so Paul's gonna go and get Alex I'm gonna defrost some chicken for tonight's dinner I think we're gonna barbecue some chicken so I'm gonna defrost some quickly marinate it and then leave it until we're ready to eat and I have to decide what to make as a side as I don't have any like buns if that makes sense to put the chicken in so yeah I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. looks cute I think it it makes a change doesn't it I swapped some of the cushion covers over got these ones out these used to have pom-poms on the side but I actually cut them all out because some of them had fallen off and they looked a mess yeah it just makes a little bit of a, of a change <clears throat> excuse me and let me show you the table yeah simple I want to show you as well, I got some stuff from Zoo Lily. Check this out. This is a Nossa Senhora de Fatima. So the Lady of Fatima, which is a very well-known saint of Portugal. And it's also a city in Portugal that has a huge pilgrimage when it comes to Christians. And um, yeah, I could not believe that I found that they had loads of different ones and I could not get over the fact they actually had Fatima so I bought that and again it's a little bit of a modern twist on something that is you know means something to me anyway so there you go and I also got this house is a set of three I'll show you where the other two are but I got that house and then I put another one here on this uh, cake stand and the other one on my coffee station which I've changed as well slightly so yeah I think it looks really cute
the struggle is real. This heat is ridiculous. After dinner, I ended up having a shower because I could just not take it anymore. My second shower of the day and I'll probably have another one before I go to bed. I have been loving this summer because it's been so cold. <laughs> but it appears that is no longer going to be like that. We're going to get the full heat of the summer. I'm not happy. I really don't like the heat. But anyway, I wanted to say to you guys, we intended to do a barbecue, but that was a fail because we didn't have any fire starters and we couldn't quite get it to work. So I just ended up doing the chicken on the stove, as you saw, and we had some chips with it and salad and that was it. What else did I want to say to you? Oh yes, I wanted to tell you what I've been doing that I absolutely love, which is it, which is when I need to clean, make dinner, anything like that, I put on true crime videos. I will link below the three ladies, I think they're all girls, ladies, that I love watching. And basically, you don't really have to watch it apart from the odd clip that they insert. I just put that on the side and I listen to it. And it's all about true crime, mainly in America, though there is some UK cases, but it's mainly in America. And there is no way I will ever come across any of these people, but I just love listening to that. They don't give you like super graphic details because I'm not, I'm not that keen on gruesome stuff. So yeah, oh, just the wind. Uh, but yeah, I will link them below because I just love listening to that and sometimes I keep cleaning and tidying just so I can listen to it. It's really good. Anyway, so that's that. What else? So you just saw me clean the kitchen and I'm pretty much done. Paul is taking Alex up to bed now. And yeah, I was just drinking some of my juice. I call it juice and lemonade. You guys saw me make some watermelon one and I have to tell you that if you use mango or pineapple instead, so much better and you need less sugar. All you need is 300 grams of fruit, whatever fruit you wish, but bear in mind that the sour the fruit is, the more, the more sugar you're going to need to make it, you know, palatable. My favourite is mango and pineapple together. I buy it frozen. You add in two to three tablespoons of sugar and then you add between five and eight hundred mils of water. You'll see, add five hundred at first and then you'll see the difference. Mm. And also add a squirt of lemon juice, maybe one tablespoon of lemon juice. So delicious, so refreshing. So yes, once Paul comes down, he's going to do the garden and I, I'm now just going to try and chill out. I'll probably sit outside for a bit. It's so damn hot. At least there's a breeze when you sit outside. So yeah, enough. See you in a minute. I've got one thing to show you in here, which is there's the pot plant we bought today and there's the plant that we had to put on it. And if you've been with me since I've moved in this house, I bought this plant and it was probably down probably down here and it's grown so so much you can see like there's the darker leaves and these are all new leaves kind of thing so it just needed to be replanted and we think it looks beautiful there and I actually do really like that pot you can't tell whether it's plastic or ceramic and uh, yeah I like it hello everyone it's actually the next day I completely forgot to finish the vlog, but I also wanted to announce the winner of the tile stickers. If you remember in my fireplace makeover, I have a set of nine stickers to give away and I asked Alex to pick a number. He picked number 11 and that is Annette Mullen. I hope I'm not butchering your surname. I will send you a message on here and if you see this uh, video please uh, either get in touch with me th via Instagram or there's my email address below in the description box so email me so I can send you these stickers and congratulations. 
and that is it for this video thank you so much for watching see you guys next time bye